pinned to the floor by police after being apprehended by worshippers. This is the suspected attacker. Within hours of the attack, this video appeared on social media. Another shows the apparent weapon, a knife on the floor. Eyewitnesses say the man was standing in line during afternoon prayers and suddenly, silently stabbed a worshipper praying in front of him. The victim in his 70s, believed to be the Mu'azzin, the man who leads the call to prayer, is now in hospital. His injuries are not believed to be life-threatening. The suspect, a 29-year-old man, was led away to a central London police station and is now being questioned on suspicion of attempted murder. We were shocked. We don't know what's happened. We saw the guy on the floor and Muaddin got blood on his shoulder and the knife on the floor. Yeah. yeah. 20 people behind this car catching threatening. And, and the police comes to the Prayers were just starting. Yeah, it just started. Yeah, it just start, yeah. And he was waiting for him, I think, to start to pray. And then he came from behind. Yeah, no, he was behind him. He prayed behind him. Yeah, so let's say I'm the, the, the man who was stabbed. And yeah. He came from. Yeah, and he was behind him, you know. He was praying behind him. We just start to say Allah Akbar and then he put the knife in his yeah. It's a traumatic, traumatic experience for yeah, everyone because um, it's a situation where you know, you're watching somebody trying to murder someone in front of you, literally meters in front of you, you know, so... Um, what do you think would have happened if he hadn't been stopped? Well, he, he, stabbed, he was stabbing him in the neck. Police are not treating the incident as a terror attack and the suspect's motives are still unclear. There are conflicting reports from worshippers about whether the attacker had been seen at the mosque before. The Prime Minister tweeted a statement expressing his sadness, saying, It's so awful that this should happen, especially in a place of worship. My thoughts are with the victim and all those affected. Last year, like at many other mosques, security was increased here at Regent's Park, following the terror attack in Christchurch in New Zealand, where 51 people were killed. The Muslim Council of Britain says it's now reissuing safety advice as communities around the country weigh up how to continue keeping mosques as open spaces while still protecting worshippers. Well, our reporter Simeon Brown is at London Central Mosque for us tonight. Simeon, what can you tell us about what happened today? I mean, earlier there was a deep intake of breath following the news that happened in Germany uh, when we heard about the news of the attack here. Now, of course, the motivations are, are unknown. The police and the mosque themselves are not treating it like a terror attack. One of the things that, that we've heard from the ground is that the man was believed to have been a visitor in the past here. The man who's been arrested is 29 years old, and the man who was stabbed is the man to be, be believed to have been coming here over the past 30 years, and he's the man responsible for making the call to prayer. Earlier, we spoke to the director general of the mosque, and he was almost relieved that the attack wasn't more severe. And not only that, he himself is treating it like a isolated incident. It's it's, it's already Islam is a part of Europe now. Yes, we we, we don't see that as they are they are not, or let's say they are like like isolated or they are not part of the society. And this this center especially is working in many fields, working with the government, working with the civil society, working with all communities also together. So what is it like when there's like an attack on a place as holy as this? Well, it's awful. We don't like it, of course, and we are so sorry this happened in the mosque. And hopefully, it's it's individual attack, and there is there is nothing further. Will you be changing your security protocols? We'll try to, to, of course, to, to remedy if there is any gap or any problem. We'll try to do that, in de definitely. That's Dr Ahmed al Dubayan from London Central Mosque there.